What's going on, YouTube? I'm I, every day I talk to black people. There was a lady I was talking to yesterday, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I need to go get some Chinese food. I'm hungry. You like Chinese food, Donald?" I'm like, "I love Chinese food, but I never shop with them again." She like, "Why?" For one, they don't spend or invest a dime in our communities. Never. Will they shop in a black community? Never will they hire anybody in or from the black community. They 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 invest in their own. Then we walk in there. Uh, I did a story the other day about blacks going in a Chinese gas station and they treated him like shit. And he still spent money and he probably still shopped there and blacks are lining around the corner to shop at a and if blacks if a if a black owned store um did anything wrong blacks have a fucking fit blacks are pissed and they'll never go back to we are our own worst enemies as soon as you say it's a black owned restaurant black people won't go there Black people don't trust each other, don't like each other, fucking hate each other. I'm almost on the verge of giving up on black people. Seriously. I'm damn near ready to give up on our people, man. Every man for himself, because we can't come together for shit. I tell black people, and I told her, look, there's a black-owned store right down the street. Oh, I don't want to get sick. What the fuck? You never even been there. How the fuck you figure you're going to get sick and you ain't never been to the fucking store? You judge the damn restaurant. You ain't even fucking been there. Just because it's black owned, you you assume you're going to get sick. Then, you want to bitch and complain about the uh, unemployment rate. If you black, you got family that's underemployed or unemployed. But blacks don't want to do shit about it. We are all talk and no action. That's us. Black people, we just talk and no action. Somebody say nigga on TV and we all pissed off. But blacks in our neighborhood are killing each other like crazy and we don't even give a fuck. We won't say shit about it. We won't shop black owned. I told this lady, look, shop at this. Oh, but we don't have a lot of stores. What the fuck? Look, if you shop in your own community at this one black owned store. He wants to uh, open up three more stores in our black community. He lives in the community. He shops in the community. If we shop with him, then he can open up three more stores. It's 3,000 families in this particular neighborhood. Even if 5% spent $10 a week in this store, he, have, he would have enough money to hire um, more people from the community. If 10% shopped at this restaurant Within two months He can open up two more stores And within uh, Within a year We can own everything in our community But blacks we are so fucking Honestly no we fuck stupid There's no other way around it And stupid is being generous It's fucking retarded that we spend 98% of our money In other neighborhoods But I stick with stupid Blacks are just plain motherfucking stupid. Period. We bitch and complain about everything else. There's a video floating around about some little young girl use, calling people nigger and uh, saying blacks this and that. Who gives a fuck? I, I was flipping through Facebook and I seen that shit. I'm like, I thought it was a fucking joke. I thought it was a whack ass rap. I laughed and kept scrolling. Motherfuckers is, oh my God. Oh, she said nigger. Who gives a fuck what she thinks? She's a little ass kid. If you give a fuck, if I gave a fuck what everybody think about me, I'd be a depressed, suck, sad motherfucker. I would, honestly. I don't give a shit what she thinks. People are like, Donald, you gonna do a video on that for what? In fact, I am gonna do a video on it just to say who gives a shit. We got, blacks got way more shit to worry about than Donald Trump in office. We focus on the wrongest, stupidest shit. The only thing we don't focus on is the shit we're supposed to focus on, which is black unity, black economics, <coughs> and our older generation failed us because they're sending the wrong message. We want to just be pissed off at everything 
instead of uniting with each other. It is it's much easier to be pissed off at white people than to unite with each other. That's much easier, less energy, just to be pissed off at them. But if we stop to think that, we could easily make our work our way out of this shit. But at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm damn near ready to give up. I talk to black people, yeah, make sure you shop black owned. They look at me like, for what? Why? I, 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 you over here bitching complaining about the fucking murder rate in Chicago. And you still ain't put two and two together. That black economics is fucking key. Do you know any thriving black neighborhoods that has a lot of crime? No, I can answer that question for you. Because it doesn't exist. If a neighborhood is thriving with jobs, it does not, you don't have to fucking sell drugs. You don't have to break in houses and rob each other, fight with each other. You just don't. Because you have jobs. Black people ain't put this shit together. White people have. I, I even I YouTube this shit. I, I type it in. It's all white people saying blacks need to shop black. But not one motherfucking video with blacks saying blacks need to shop black. Fucking pathetic. We are. I, I'm on a board. I'm borderline ready to give up on blacks because we just that fucking stupid. It is. Blacks want to make every other excuse in the world, and now we want to. They they at, at this old Dominion school they having. Uh, meetings and it's all on the news and big deal about one stupid ass little girl making a stupid ass song about saying the fucking N word. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? But blacks won't won't have a meeting to shop black. Oh no, don't do that. That would be too much like right. That would actually and 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 white people will pump the wrong message once you got the wrong message they'll put you on CNN, MSNBC that's why you would never see Dr. Umar Johnson on uh, the, the, the national news level because he has the right message and blacks are so fucking idiotic they'll find the littlest shit with him and try to tear him down instead of coming together that's us, I honestly somebody else said give up on blacks and and I'm damn near on the verge of saying that's the fucking truth honestly do I think blacks will ever get out this hell hole probably not we just ain't put it together yet we just ain't smart enough we we just ain't it, it, for real we still think that the problem is uh other issues other people and uh, everything but the fucking truth um, our food is all poison. That has a lot to do with um, children's behavior. Yes. Biggest problem is the black home. Single parents. Having kids with motherfuckers that don't want kids. That's going to run off. Stupid shit. And it's easy. No father. Fucked up kid. Easy as that. Period. People say, oh, no, not all of them, but 90, 95%. You might as well fucking say all of them. You might as well. You got better luck being struck by fucking lightning than a single mother raising a, uh, a, a child that grows up to be a college graduate or a Harvard grad or whatever, anything. And I can't say that, but, man, it, it's, it's close to them damn odds. So let, let, let's stop being in denial. And, and start having black accountability. I don't. We we's too distracted with what everybody else does and say about us. Straight up, we teaching our children. Oh, somebody call you a nigga. Act, ah, get a, act a fucking fool. Gives a shit. Look, black people still killing each other. We still can't even shop black owned. We got our own issues. People are like, yeah, you know, Trump and Trump. Who gives a shit about Trump? We can't. We can't. Even, let me tell you something. Why don't the Chinese give a fuck about politics? For what? Chinese don't give a shit about ch politics. They own everything they got. They're economically stable. Black, let me tell you something. Money is power. Black people ain't figured that out yet either. Money is power. And once you have power, nobody can do shit to you. You see them politicians and them motherfuckers don't fuck with Chinese. Because they got too much power. 
way too much power. The power Chinese won't let the uh, United States fuck with North Korea. He threatens nu- he he launches a nuclear test every day and say he gonna wipe the United States off the motherfucking map. He's saying we gonna blow y'all up, but we can't do shit to him because Chinese got too much power. Chinese like don't fuck with them, and we like okay. Uh, Iran even say, oh, I hate the United States, and the United States is ready to go to fucking war with them. Anyway, just wanted to make this video, man. Shop black owned. Shop in your community. So now, if if it is something you can't and, and sacrifice, black people, that's what she asked me. Black people ask this stupid shit every day. Oh, Donald, what are we gonna supposed to do if we can't get no Jordans to get this sacrifice? In Martin Luther King Day, they boycotted the bus for years. I ain't, I didn't even know that. I thought it was for weeks. They did it for years. Black people today can't boycott for a day. Black people today, if you have one job, they can't shop black owned not even one day. We can't bring black people one day. And then blacks want to bitch and complain about this, that, and the other. About somebody said nigger on TV. We'll protest about that. We'll act a fool. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do everything but the fucking come together. We do anything as long as it's involving being mad at whites. We won't come together. You say, and then you tell black people, okay, sacrifice. They're like, oh shit, oh I can't go with that. Somebody even actually had the fucking nerve to post this shit on. I, I told on Facebook, I posted black shop black on. Some idiotic ass female said, oh I can't go with my Gucci and my Prada. And then blacks would turn around and say, oh, we need jobs. We need to, we need to. There's an activist that posted that. Yeah, they need to give us jobs. Who is fuck is they? You waiting on the mayor? Good luck. Good luck. Waiting on the motherfucking mayor to invest in your black community. Good luck. Because you're going to need it. Straight up. Anyway, peace. I'm out.